Yo, what is going on guys? Fortunate here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be trying to find some lobbies on Black Ops 1, Xbox 360 slash Xbox One. Playing backwards compatible, of course. But yeah, it's been a minute since I've actually played on my Xbox on the channel. You know, for the most part, I've been just doing uh, IW4X, Plutonium, stuff like that. But I wanted to see if these games are still populated on Xbox and consoles and stuff like that. So yeah, this is going to be different. Obviously, the smaller FOV, like 60 FOV, I think console is the view. For it whatever that sentence wasn't very good but uh yeah it says we got 2009 players online but i'll be the judge of that hopefully you guys do enjoy the video if you do be sure to drop a like subscribe if you guys are brand new without further ado let's get right into this all right baby here we go we got a tdm on radiation i haven't played xbox black ops one or any xbox games really in super long so uh, definitely feels a little bit weird having that smaller FOV. Like, I'm pretty sure this is, uh, just the normal console FOV. I'm so used to the freaking... Oh, he's in last hand. Okay. I'm so used to, like, the 90 plus now that playing this just feels so zoomed in. I hope he didn't hear me. Where'd he go? There you are, buddy. Thank you very much. We got a claymore out over on the left, so we're gonna pick up this guy's commando. Do I have sit rep on this class? I think so. Claymore got a kill. That's huge. I mean, it's full lobby, 6v6, so that's really actually nice over here. I, I haven't really found much. Surprisingly enough, though, when I first got on, I searched for a game. I didn't realize I still had the DLCs all installed, and it's definitely a lot harder to find a game with them installed, but uh, I did find one, which was kind of crazy, but it was like 3v3, so I just went ahead and uninstalled them because I just wanted to find at least games if they had them. And it worked, so that's good. Give me that kill. Come on. No way. He's got to be in last stand or something, right? I guess I have... What the heck is this perk again? Hacker, maybe? Oh, I could have hacked that Claymore. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Hacker. I forgot about that. But yeah, I am pretty sure that Black Ops 1 on Plutonium isn't the most alive game of all time. So it kind of sucks, but... Hey, at least it's still populated on Xbox. Pretty cool to see. Let's see if I can go over here and hack this Claymore. I want to see what happens. I feel like this guy might be in here, though. Let's see. Attack it. My Claymore now, let's go! Imagine that gets a kill, dude. Dude, this freaking part right here used to freak me out so bad because I always used to miss the jump and just fall in, dude. At this point, I am so much more content just playing older games and trying to play the new Modern Warfare 2 right now. That game is just... Man, it's like miserable. There's no content or anything. I'm not dead. You stunned, buddy. Uh, sorry, teammate. You ran right out through it. Oh yeah, I, I can't believe that game. 3,000 devs, three different years to make that game, and that's all the content we get. And now hearing on top of it that uh, the next season is delayed. Like, how, bro? You guys have had so much time, and now this season is delayed. I, I really don't understand where the Call of Duty scene is going at this point because it is just getting worse and worse and worse as the years go on. Three years. Three years, 3,000 devs, and this is all the content we get? Like, come on, man. I'd, I'd rather play this every day, dude. Are you kidding me? Because at least I know the maps I'm playing, and at least the maps are good. Enemy down. Like, for real. Oh, God. Okay. It's okay. It's fine. But something drastic has to change. At this point, maybe I'll play Modern Warfare 2 again when they come out with new content and see how it is. But, uh, till further notice, I'm just getting ready for freaking, uh, SM2, man. SM2 has looked like it's gonna be absolutely amazing. If you guys aren't sure what SM2 is, um, basically it is going to be a community-made game through Black Ops 3 mod tools on PC. I didn't know if I wanted to shoot that guy or not. And it's, yeah, so it's made on Black Ops 3 PC through a bunch of different mod tools with all these custom guns from older Call of Duties, ran through kind of like a Modern Warfare 2 type movement, but a mix of all the old school guns, all the old school maps, just everything put together. It looks so good. If you guys haven't looked it up, look it up on YouTube, SM2. Just search it and you'll find it. They've dropped some gameplay of it. It looks really good, man. All right, I'll take a kill with that freaking Napalm Strike too. Oh, he's up top. Ooh, I'll take that cheeky kill. I'm not sure when the official release date is for it yet, but when it does come, I'm really excited, man. Friendly spy plane inbound. I think we're close to a Blackbird. That would be nice to get for sure, so... Oh, run into the Claymore. Run into the Claymore. Come on. Where are my bullets going? Holy crap. I feel like I just sprayed so hard and barely got the kill. Uh-oh, I'm dead. We're good. We're good. Whoa! Dolphin dive. Nice, Blackbird. Let's go. 
Alright, I think I have dogs on, so it'd be nice to get the dogs. Watch out, teammate, don't run in. Sorry, bro. Ran right into it. And they called in a freaking counter UAV! When I get the Blackbird up, I would waste my time trying to shoot this thing down, but there's not a lot of kills left in the game, and I really want to hunt for these dogs, so it's probably AFK, actually. No, he's actually just sitting there. That's pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. Um, one more for dogs? Oh, of course, it's right towards the end of the game, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm hoping we get a good map next game and get dogs a little bit earlier. Dogs waiting on your go. Oh, okay. I guess I won't even get to call him in, but 22-3 and three with a 7.3 KD. First game back on freaking Black Ops 1 on Xbox after playing on PC for a while? I'll take that. I will gladly take that, man. Hell yeah. And I'm just happy to find a game, bro. This is really nice. Really nice. All right, let's go. We got a game on WMD. I'm going to use a Galil here. The Galil looks really good. I got the red camo on it just because I'm so used to using that tiger camo, like the fall camo, I guess, of this game. And it's used a little bit too much, so I switched it up. Have a little fun. Oh, I just looked there. What? But I, I honestly kind of feel like if they re-released any older COD, say for example, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2, I'll revive you, bro. Oh, I picked up a gun instead. I'm so sorry. But I feel like they would literally have more active players than the new Call of Duty right now because the new Call of Duty is just so stale on content. I don't want to get too repetitive, but I, I feel like that's the honest truth. But dude, Black Ops 1 was just so unique. I love the wager matches concept, you know? You have to make money in the game to actually unlock new guns and stuff. See it, pal. He destroyed it and ran back down. That's interesting. Oh, that's why he's noob tubing in Black Ops 1. Bro, come on, dude. It's just so cool, too, because it's not like you had to buy anything in game. It's like you made the money in game to unlock new stuff. I think that was so cool. And you were able to wager it away. Dude, it's so cool, man. Now now it's like you feel like you're playing Modern Warfare 2 and it's they don't care about content or the game. They just care about throwing their bundles out so they can make more money. It's crazy, bro. It's literally crazy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This guy freaking noob tubing RPGs and actual noob tubes in 2023, man. That is crazy. I'm five and four. Is this real life? Is this real life, man? I think I'm actually going negative right now, which is uh Honestly, not surprising. I didn't think I would do as good as I did the first game, so... There we go. We broke the death streak. Hell yeah. I think this guy's still up here with a sniper. Walked right into it, but we killed him. We're good. We're snapping back. We had a really bad start in the beginning, and they called in a spy plane, so that's a little scary. That's the guy with the noob tubes. Goodbye, bro. Goodbye. Get away from me. And he noob tubes me again. You gotta be kidding, bro. You gotta be kidding with the noob tubes, bro. Come on. At least they did it right in Black Ops 1 where you can't re-scavenge your noob tubes. Because if you could re-scavenge noob tubes, that would just suck. Nice shot. My team is getting absolutely destroyed. I don't think I'm really much help because I think I might be 9 and 9 this game, but... Okay. I saw the other... Well, where did you come from? Okay, we got the sniper. Thank God. Hey, that's mine, dude. Don't knife that. Thank you. They back over here. Might be. Teammate just died. I see him. How about a money nade? Sniper's back. We got him. The noob tuber. Got him. Little kill streak going. Come on. This guy's running up too. Hold up. I'm gonna chuck a nade and a stun. We walked right into it. Let's go. We get a napalm. Is he coming up? Get away from me with the RPG, dude. All right, we're trying to make a comeback for my team. I don't know how it's going right now, but we're down 15 kills. Why? There's another guy noob tubing? Oh my god, dude, what is this? Napalm got a kill, nice. Blackbird, Blackbird. Call it in. Come on, come on, we can make this comeback. They're up in this window. I need to get the dogs. Nice, good kill. Nice. Okay, hold up. This guy runs this way. We just kill him. That's all. Dogs, get the dogs in. Come on. We can make this comeback. We can make this comeback. The beginning of the game was not great, but we're good. Hide from that. Come on, dogs. You got to help us out here. I walked into a claymore. No! The dogs are definitely helping. I just need my teammates to not die, bro. Let's go. The dogs got three kills. Four kills. Get away from me with the RPG noob tubes, bro. Come on. Look how close the game is now. We're down 15 kills at one point. Nice. 
Okay, we're good. We're good. Three kills. Come on, team. Just stay alive here. Nice. Don't die, guys. Don't die. Come on. We're screwed. Oh my god! I feel like I went so hard towards the end of the game there, too, and only one guy on my team goes positive. One guy! No way! 32 and 11, bro. 32 and 11 for the L! Alright, we're gonna play one more game here. I need to get a nice win. I need revenge. I need revenge. I'm running around with a Spaz 12 this game, and I'm gonna have no regrets because the Spaz 12 in this game was so much fun to use. Hopefully, I can take down some of these noob tubers, too. Connection? No! What's going on? What's going on? And I get flashed? Am I dead here? Okay, thank you for the new host. Thank you. Thank you. Can't let my team down this time. I think I had steady aim. I probably should have put sleight of hand on, but that's okay. We're going to drop the motion center. We're going to play this a little bit slow. Thank you. Because why not? We got a shotgun. Why would I rush around? Come up here. Come on. Thank you. Is there a guy down below still, or is that the guy that was up here? No, I think he's dead. Oh, he still is. Thank you. Napalm strike. He had a spaz 12 now, too. That's kind of funny. We're going to save the napalm for a little bit just to maybe get a blackbird and at least know where they are, you know? Oh, he's up in the window. Okay. He's down low. He's down low. No! It was a shotgun! Oh, the napalm strike didn't do as much as I thought it would do, but um, honestly, it's kind of expected because on bigger maps, it's definitely not the greatest, but on objective-based game modes, it definitely helps a lot. Oh, he's across there. Should I try and kill him with a pistol? Ooh, let's go. I'll take that. Let's go. This guy's running across. Maybe I can get him. I was a shotgun guy again. Let's go. Got one. Where is he? Where is he? Who's over there? Oh, oh, oh. Got him. Napalm strike is back. Let's see where this guy comes. The, the, the friggin' motion sensor is just so clutch right now. It's helping me uh, just control this area with a little shotgun. He just pre-fired me! Look at this, he's shooting my body, bro, he's pissed! Oh my god, he literally pre-fired me! That's crazy! You know, at least we're in the lead. My favorite thing to do, dude, was use the Spaz-12 in Search and Destroy, bro, it was so much fun. Mar I just remember Marathon Lightweight on Summit and just sprinting across the map and blasting people. Oh, nice, the Napalm Strike did get a kill. Wasn't a help for a long time, but it did, it did end up working. Okay, I think they flipped spawns with us now, so... It might be coming this way. I'm gonna drop this over here. Let's see if we can get some people. There we go. That was a shotgun guy. So sorry there, pal. We got another one coming. Oh, new host, new host. Run right through. Run right through, pal. So sorry, dude. Yeah, I was in the corner waiting for you, but... Wait, where's that Galil? I wanted the Galil. It's gone? Okay. Whatever, we'll take the FAMAS. It's got some noob tubes in it, too. Perfect. That was him, the guy with the shotgun. Oh my god, I bet that guy is so mad too, because I've killed him so many times. I think he's killed me once. Oh, I saw him up in the window. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I gotta kill the noob tube. Honestly, this game went pretty quick for, like, Havana. Like, I feel like Havana is a decently big map. It could definitely take a little bit longer, but teammates were actually pretty good. I got stuck by an aid. Wow, that talk about great payback. There you go, buddy. You got me good there. Right in the window. I mean, at least I didn't need to go 30 kills for the L this game, because it looks like we basically got this wrapped up, which is nice for a change.